This is Miriam Tucker reporting from the annual meeting of the Society for Academic Emergency Medicine. So this study um, was about a biomarker called glial fibrillary acidic protein, and that is a protein found in the astroglial cells and is very brain specific in the studies that have been done to date. Um, our study took a look at the difference uh, between traumatic brain injury patients with mild and moderate traumatic brain injury and compared that to control patients. We had a couple of control groups that we used. One was uninjured controls, normal people um, without any type of injury. And we had two other control groups which included motor vehicle controls with no evidence of traumatic brain injury in addition to orthopedic controls who had a single limb injury without any traumatic brain injury. And we compared the two groups. In addition, we also took a look at the difference between patients who had CTs who were positive for traumatic intracranial lesions compared to those that had no traumatic intracranial lesions to see if biomarkers could distinguish between the two. And so we ran a prospective um, control study. And uh, what we found uh, very interestingly is that there was a very um, big difference in biomarker level in control patients versus traumatic brain injury patients, including those that presented with a GCS of 15, which is one of the groups that we're very concerned about. In addition, um, we also found a significant difference in CT lesions, and the biomarker level, the glial fibrillary acidic protein, was much higher in the serum of patients who had traumatic lesions than those that did not. And we took a look at the area under the curve, which actually measures the performance of these biomarkers, and found that uh, the area under the curve was close to 0.8, which is actually a very good discriminant. Um, so this study has potential to um, change clinical practice once it is validated and studied in a larger patient population. And so we are very encouraged by the results, and um, we hope to continue this study looking at long-term follow-up and also a larger cohort of patients over a longer period of time. This is Miriam Tucker reporting from Boston.